Hey guys, Mac here. In this video, we're gonna to be touring a 70 series Land Cruiser that's owned by a dear friend of ours, Aiden. And we have known him for a couple of years now. He is an incredibly gifted photographer and videographer and you should absolutely check out his work. In this tour, he does reference a previous vehicle and just to kind of bring you in on it, he used to own a Volkswagen Vanagon Synchro, which was really cool. But his new rig is really cool too. Some might even say it's cooler. All right, let's dive right in. Hi, my name is Aiden Clemenko. I am a photographer and filmmaker, and this is my 78 series Toyota troop carrier thing. Uh, so this vehicle has some interesting history. I bought it from a uh, Swiss couple um, who I believe are in their 60s. They have uh, they've owned it since it was new, um, and just about seven years ago, uh, chopped it and built this custom camper for a round the world trip. Uh, on the side of my door, uh, you'll see an Africa decal, a Australia, South America, and North America. Um, they took this thing through all of those countries. Uh, built it specifically for uh, this trip. Uh, it is a 78 series troop carrier that they cut uh, right after the first two seats uh, down to the chassis and had the camper custom built. Um, so it is uh, unique, which is a pretty cool thing. Um, a lot of people ask uh, who made it and uh, what camper it is, uh, kind of hoping to be able to do something uh, similar. Um, you can't. <laughs> That's kind of the background history of the vehicle, but I'd love to show you some. Yeah, we're gonna uh, take a walk around. Yeah. Where some do you want to start? Um, let's start up front. Why not? Um, they uh, have a nice big ARB bumper right here, which uh, you know looks great and works well. I guess they they did have the bull bar on it uh, and chopped that off for weight. Um, they also used to have a winch, but got rid of that for weight. Um, uh, they have their high lift up here uh, and some extra set of old shocks um, for uh, up front if mine blow out. Uh, suspension wise, this does have coil springs in front and a pretty beefy leaf pack uh, in back. Um, it is obviously a solid axle as I believe all uh, older um, Land Cruisers are, is that? I believe so, I yeah. I think so. That's, that's the cool. previous owners did so much with this vehicle that uh, I know that everybody's different and everybody has different needs, uh, but when it comes to decisions they made for worldwide travel, I feel like I can't really contest them because they have so much more experience um, and really were able to, over a period of seven years, figure out what worked, what didn't, what they needed, what they didn't. Uh, and so I have kind of tried to stick to what they you know those those choices that they made yeah, um, because I feel like those choices were made um, intelligently. Yeah, without over elaborating on yeah. Exactly. Uh, so um, it's got some nice uh, cool lights up here for you know romping at night and crazy stuff like <laughs> that. Um, I've got some pretty uh, beefy um, all-terrain tires on here. Uh, they're Discover uh, ST Max Coopers. Uh, again, with tires, I that they bought new tires right before I, I purchased the vehicle, and I was like, hey, throw some KM3 new mud trains on there. Those look sick, and they're like, yeah, that's what we thought too at first. But after doing all of this driving, we found that these are our favorite tires. We've gone through so many, and so again, I just opted to um, go with their expertise. And I have to say, I I love them. Manual locking hubs. Manual locking hubs. Yep. Thank you. Uh, this is. Uh, the van was nice because you could just pull that knob uh, to engage four-wheel drive. That was sick. This you actually have to get out. Whatever. I'm <laughs> getting Whatever. used to it. Um, snorkel, pretty cool. Um, this is the pop top. It uh, is made out of a, I'm not sure if it is umbrella or sorry, some umbrella esque material, but it is very robust um, and it's light proof, uh, which is interesting because in the morning, if all of my windows are closed, my, my windows have shades on them, uh, I'm, it's a cave, you know? Uh, I, I guess I do miss a little bit of that morning light that I had in the van. One of the things I liked most about the van was I had windows all the way back around like uh, these guys have in their 
uh, then again, you get a lot of nice natural light. Um, the advantage of this, though, is I can have the top popped up and all my lights on inside. And if you drove by here and didn't shine your lights on the vehicle, you'd have no idea that it's here. I almost ran into the truck last night. It's completely black on yeah. the outside. Very stealth, very cool. Um, these uh, are my sand ladders. I have one on each side. I can pop these out and put them underneath the tires if I'm stuck in the sand, mud, um, anything loose like that. Um, or maybe cover a little bit of a, like uh, right behind us we have a little crevasse that I wouldn't want to drive over without some sort of uh, ladder situation. Um, this one up here uh, can be folded down um, and acts as a little table. I love that. Which is nice. I can do my dishes out here. Uh, these holes are perfect beer size. Uh, so the beer fits right in there, which is pretty nice. Um, the cool, I think the coolest thing about these is they are actually World War II uh, remote uh, airstrip pieces. Is that really what they are? Yep. Um, actually, uh, that's what the, the previous owners told me. They're just, uh, they're awesome. Amazing. Uh, right here is um, kind of like camping stuff. I have my awning right here. Um, I have a a hacksaw, I have, I don't know, all sorts of kind of just greasy, outdoorsy, dirty things. Yeah, kind of a garage. Um, things I don't want on the inside, which is kind of nice. If you come around back, um, the back's not terribly interesting. We've got uh, my spare tire. Um, but the cool thing is they have this uh, L-Track um, that goes all along uh, here, here, and then all along up top too. With these removable little uh, things, you can kind of move around and place where you want them. So you can st attach stuff, strap stuff, whatever, um, for extra utility. They really built this thing uh, to, they, they didn't want very many accessories on the outside. They didn't want things that outside that could be stolen. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, so they tried to keep everything uh, inside where it could be locked, like down there. So you don't see a ton of stuff here. Oh, I forgot to mention that um, these also are on a track. so they can slide up uh, to cover these windows. So for example, next week when I ship to um, Columbia, uh, I'll slide these up to cover the windows so nobody can pry those windows open and enter the cabin um, from the outside. I don't know who these people were, but I wonder if they would adopt me. <laughs> I love my parents, but I'm always in the market for more parents. One cool thing is uh, this is a uh, 180 liter um, fuel tank back here. Uh, that is separate from the main tank, connected through a pump and a switch up front. Uh, so I can switch that on and extend my range to, I'm not 100% sure yet, I have not completely filled it up, but I think I had it, I think it was about halfway filled uh, in addition to the main tank. I got uh, 1,300 miles on that, so I'm guessing that I'll have at least 1,500. Um, That's amazing. Which is a pretty cool thing. Another um, way to not have accessories on the outside getting ready to the gas. The cans. gas cans. Yep, exactly. Exactly. Um, I have shore power here, uh, plugging in to charge my batteries inside. Uh, they do uh, have these cool little locks here, or I guess sp spots for locks. Um, and then on the inside in these cool panniers, uh, on each side is a little lock. Uh, and I might as well show this thing. This thing is pretty sweet. Um, it, uh, they have these handmade somewhere. I can't remember where. Um, there's one on each side and it's just this cool, little leather pouch. Uh, That's amazing. It's one of my favorite things. Not a selling point, obviously, but something I very much enjoy. Not mad um, about it. Yeah, so. Um, that is, oh, uh, and they do have, they have these little steps here, here, and there, which make it really easy to just get up on top of the vehicle. Up here uh, is a bunch of that L track, so I could put another spare tire up here or move that one up here. They used to keep it up here. Or strap backpacks up here. Say a young lady <laughs> wants to come travel with me for a little while. I'm open to it. I can strap their backpack up here if they're just traveling with me temporarily. If it's more long term, we'll make room for it inside. It's very generous of you. I, I try. I try. <laughs> I try. Um, so this is the cockpit, and it very much is a cockpit. It, to me, it looks like uh, the console of a airplane, or the cockpit of an airplane. I've got Recaro seats, which is pretty sweet. Um, I, it's a mostly stock dash, except for they cut this here, added this instrument panel. Um, 
The, I think the coolest parts about this is all this headroom that I have up here. Uh, it's all kind of built. They have this extension piece up here, which is hollow and allows for a ton of headroom and a bunch of storage uh, up here in these cabinets, which is pretty sweet. Um, one of the coolest things about this is they sold it to me with all of their tools. Um, and it is a lot of tools and tools that are very specific to this vehicle, things that I need for specific jobs. Um, and uh, I, th there's a lot of value in that to me. Um, so I have all of the tools that I need right here, easily accessed. Um, here on the wall, if you come in here, you can see I've got uh, some things like uh, a shovel, an ax, um, a big saw, um, a little saw back there and a big saw up here. Um, and then again, all these tools. These are, these are from my awning, it's coming out. Um, and uh, yeah, a lot of little accessories and gadgets and doodads and stuff like that. So. so this is the inside of my truck. I think that one of the um, biggest differences between this and uh, the Vanagon um, was, there is the ease of switching into sleeping mode. Right now, this is obviously in bench mode, and in order to get it into sleeping mode, this comes down into uh, in between these, and then these um, go right on top, uh, and then it is the bed. Uh, and that takes, I mean, it doesn't take long. Uh, we actually timed it this morning, I think it's two minutes, which really, when I hear myself say that, is not <laughs> all that bad, but the van was super nice. Uh, you just click clack that seat down and then unfold your memory foam and then your bed's made. Uh, it was literally a 15, a 10, 15 second operation. And when you're tired after driving all day or whatever it may be, uh, being able to just switch that over so quickly was awesome. Um, I missed that. Um, but as you can see, this is very cozy. Uh, and there is a lot more standing room in here uh, than there is uh, in the van, which I think is um, a really nice thing. It feels very, uh, very open, um, which is nice. Um, I've got a bunch of storage uh, in here. Uh, it's not entirely organized yet, as you can see, uh, but it's a lot of storage. Uh, and then also um, underneath uh, here, are uh, large storage bins as well. Um, so there's a lot of room for stuff, uh, which is, you know, nice. I've got my fridge right here. Uh, this is a uh, National Luna uh, fridge with freezer. Uh, and I've got my little stove right here. Uh, looks like I'm trying to cook some film and that. Uh, two burner, like the van. However, it is a smaller stove. Um, and it also, I need to, I have a little, uh, a dealio right here, which I just put up, you know, when I'm cooking, which really isn't too bad. Um, the stove in the van was nicer, um, but uh, this works great. Uh, so that is where I make all my meals, though. I will say I cook outside as often as possible. Um, when I'm cooking something like bacon, uh, uh, there's grease going everywhere and I'd rather have that happen outside rather than in. There is no sink inside here. My water is attached to my door. Um, which is actually kind of, well, inconvenient in some ways, obviously not having a drain inside. If I, if I absolutely need to do stuff involving emptying water or anything like washing inside the vehicle, I have a little tub down there that I just put a little tiny water in or two tubs, one for, you know, uh, washing and one for rinsing. That's pretty easy. Um, I generally do most of my stuff outside anyway. Um, so it is kind of nice having uh, the faucet on um, the door with an extendable um, uh, hose uh, so I can shower myself if I need to or uh, my feet or uh, a, a pet. I don't, have, I don't have a pet, so I guess it's not relevant. But if you did have a dog, if I had a dog, then I could do that. Um, I guess these windows we can talk about. Um, they're very large, uh, which is nice. Um, it really opens up the space. Um, bug net, undo that, and then you can zip it up uh, and um, have some privacy, which we'll do here shortly because it is getting cold. Um, we've got a little tiny, it, it's not a full crawl through. I, I have gone through there once. It was not very easy. 
Um, the previous owners built it as kind of an emergency. If something were happening outside and they needed to get into the front two seats and drive away, they could. Um, the, I will say that the nice thing of having it open uh, is, and not completely blocked off, is I can put backpacks or whatever up there and I can still access them, which is uh, pretty convenient because when I have people in here, um, there's not very much room for backpacks and uh, all of that, so. This guy, it's pretty sweet. Uh, it's actually just a hatch. So when the top's down, I can get out there and walk around on the roof very easily. All of my windows have uh, both bug net um, and full, uh, full shade, um, which is uh, nice again for, uh, for privacy sake. Um, uh, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it's large and that's a pretty cool thing. Um, let some nice light in here. So, and breathability with, with all of this closed, especially with the top down, if I have to sleep in here and it's hot outside and the top's down, being able to open this up is nice. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, and don't forget my little bookshelf here. I think it's very cute. This is my little house. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed the tour. In the description of the video below, we will include a link to Aiden's portfolio as well as all of his social media platforms so you can follow along with his journey, which I highly recommend. He's in South America now, living the life. Well, that's it for this time, so we'll see you down the road.